This film was released 22 years ago. Makes you feel old, doesn't it? Independence Day. Now this is the story all about how the world got flipped and upside down. Now I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there, and tell you how will Smith and Goldblum save the world from despair. This is the film that proved once again that aliens are just no darn good. Following their success of 1994's Stargate, Roland Emmerich and Dean Devlin deliver a truly impressive summer blockbuster in a time when that actually meant something. And although it was released in 1996, this film still holds up to this very day. When tentacled aliens show up to destroy us and take our resources, it's up to the military and 90s Jeff Goldblum to stop them. It's like Battle Los Angeles, except this was first, and it's actually entertaining. Roman Emmerich and Dean Devlin have taken the alien invasion films of the 1950s and updated the genre with more explosions and destruction than audiences had ever seen before. It hit at the peak of the 90s, a time of pogs, digipets, and surge. Remember surge? Man, I wish they'd bring back Surge. Back when Disney Channel was good, Cartoon Network was good, and 20th Century Fox still made good movies. Man, I miss the 90s. Now, not only was Independence Day one of the biggest films of the decade, it was also the breakout movie role for Will Smith, turning the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air into the king of the box office, landing him the lead role in other sci-fi blockbusters like Wild Wild West, and the Men in Black franchise, before he started making stuff like Hancock Suicide Squad and Jaden Smith. Roland Emmerich and Dean Devlin are at their best with this film, balancing tension, excitement, and fun, all while juggling a massive ensemble cast, complicated special effects, and a compelling character-driven story. Where you feel the gravity of the situation without leaving the theater feeling depressed, as is the case with most modern films. They provide a movie-going experience that modern films just can't seem to replicate. Jeff Goldblum is at his Jeff goldblum -y best, even repeating his must-go-faster line from 1992's Jurassic Park. They reference other Spielberg classics like E.T. and Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Spielberg himself was so impressed with the film, in fact, he waited several years before he made War of the Worlds because according to him, Dean Devlin and Roland Emmerich did aliens better than anyone else ever could. And who would have thought Lone Star from Spaceballs, Bill Pullman, could give one of the most inspirational speeches in cinema history? I know it's kind of my thing to rip crappy movies apart, but honestly, with the exception of Randy Quaid's ridiculous performance, there isn't much to hate about this film. Especially when you consider when it was made. Cities are destroyed all the time in modern superhero films, and with CGI, you can create anything you can imagine. But at the time, Audiences had never seen effects or destruction on this scale before. This film has some of the best miniature work and special pyrotechnic effects ever put to film. And the spectacle is still just as enjoyable today as it was back in 1996. Thanks to the truly impressive work by Oscar-winning special effects supervisors Volker Engel and Doug Smith. David Arnold, who also scored Stargate and Godzilla, once again delivers a memorable and rousing score. David Brenner was the editor for this film. I only mention this because his name kind of sounds like one of Bill Bixby's aliases on the Hulk TV show. And I know it's a little off topic, but during the final battle of the movie, I couldn't help but hear the voice of Bill in my head saying, The hatches are open! <sighs> if you're a 90s kid who grew up playing Star Fox 64, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The Katana Outpost was one of the best levels in the game. In the end, Independence Day is a fun, exciting special effects extravaganza. So while you enjoy your hot dogs and fireworks this 4th of July, pop this movie in and treat yourself to a real classic. For a sense of fun, memorable characters, sweeping film score, and groundbreaking special effects, I give this film 5 out of 5 Death Stars. Independence Day is impressive. Most impressive. Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank all of my subscribers for your support. 
We've already hit the 300 mark, and it's all thanks to you. We have a lot of exciting plans for the future of this channel as it continues to grow. Have a safe and happy 4th of July, and be careful with those fireworks. Take it from a guy who knows. Being burned alive isn't nearly as much fun as it sounds like it would be. Until next time, this has been Vader Reviews. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and follow me on Twitter. Join the Empire today. You do not yet realize your importance. Share these videos, and together we will rule the internet. And always remember, you don't know the power of the dark side.